Welcome to a brand new series called A Hundred Hours in Hardcore Minecraft. This is a fun little mini-series where we're going to be spending 100 hours in Minecraft. It kind of is in the title. However, there's a few little twists. The first one being, I'm going to be bringing some of my friends on to help me with this series. And there's also a second twist, but... You'll have to wait to the end of this video to find out. Oh no, I'm like those TikToks which tell you to watch the end and what if nothing happens that you like? Oh gosh. But now I'm going to be one of those YouTubers who ask you to subscribe and like the video. Let's get into it. So here I am on a brand new world. And the first thing you want to notice in the bottom right hand corner there, I have a timer and that timer will be counting all the way through this series until we reach the 100 hour mark. But let's stop faffing around and let's get to work as this is hardcore and I've got a limited time, which is kind of weird. It feels strange to say that. And as our time is limited, we want to get working straight away. And as you can see, it kind of gives away how long I pause to think what to say. I think there's about 15 seconds there, which I cut out. I guess I should probably live close by to where I've spawned, seeing as we're on this time limit. And this, this looks awesome up here. Got a nice light waterfall over there in the background. I like this place. I think this is good. We'll just live here. Normally, it takes me like a good hour to find where I want to live, but that's 1% of my time. So screw that. Let's just live here. Ow, ow, ow. No, hardcore mode, hardcore mode. Stop it. Somewhere over here. I'm not sure exactly where, but it'll be just around here. I really need to uh, get to work on some tools. Luckily, there's some coal over there. So I guess I'll, I'll just live in this cave for a little bit, or maybe that'll just be my house. Perfect. It's finished. Ooh, iron. So let's see how long it takes us to get full iron armor. And I should probably go kill some more sheep to make a bed. Starting to panic a little bit. That sun's getting very close to the horizon. I still not found any sheep. All I have is berries. <gasps> oh my gosh, you beauty. Please. Die. Die for me. Thank goodness. Oh, now I can actually focus on getting some iron. Although I am lost. Until I get a little farm going. I think salmon is going to be my main source of food. What is this I've just seen? Is this a dripstone cave? Ooh. Don't think I've actually seen one of these yet in 118. It's pretty cool looking. Wow, look how much copper there is in here. I'm definitely going to have to build with copper. All right, with our first iron, I'm going to be sensible and make a shield. And I'm going to name the shield Lizzie as she protects me. And I'll make some legs as well. And there we go. All I'm going to do now is AFK here for the next... Uh, 99 hours and 40 minutes and challenge complete. That was just a joke, of course. Of course, it was a silly little joke. God, bet you all giggling and cackling at that one. Okay, less jokes, more iron. Ooh, a lot of fire and also a chest. Not really anything good in it. Is that a footpath? Is there a village? What? What is this? Is this new? I've never seen this before. Iron helmet. Nothing else of use, though. Wait, this is a different village. And it's like 100 blocks away. Ooh, an iron pickaxe and a gold bar. And a smithing table. Yoink. Oh, large fern. All right, we're 30 minutes in and we seem to have hit the jackpot. So let me just gather all this iron up, then we'll head home. 40 iron. That should last us a decent amount of time. That is full Iron armor. Nice. All right, now we're a little bit more geared up. We'll get some tools in a second, but let's start finding a place around here to set up camp, as I don't really want to live in that hole. There's a lot of trees everywhere, so we're going to have to clear out some space. But let's just try just here. We don't want to go too high up. So I did some wood cutting off camera. Don't know why I've got a Scottish accent there, but yeah, I chopped some trees down. As you can see, cleared a little open. Now I've got a lot of wood. However, I'm not going to build out of spruce wood because I'm in a spruce forest. I'll just blend in. Instead, I want to build out of something crazy. Oak wood. I'm going to build out of oak wood. There's also going to be some other blocks. It's not just going to be oak wood, but we need to get some of those blocks. And one of them is tough, as I rarely ever build with tough. And I'm always trying to push myself out of my comfort zone. And you know me. I am tough in real life. I am six foot eight. Definitely not five foot eight. And strong. Yes, but I think our best bet of getting tough is going into that cave over there. Got iron armor now, so I shouldn't be too scared, but I'm still terrified. Now I'm getting this tough so that I can mark out the area I'm going to put my house, and then I'll get to work on some other stuff that I actually need. Like right now, I don't really need a house, I need a farm, but when do I ever do things correctly? Well, I've lit up this entire cave almost, and I've not found any tough, which I guess is tough luck. <laughs> oh, we have fun here. But I'll keep searching. I've just noticed we've reached the one hour mark. We're officially 1% of the way through. I have just spotted 
something. Ooh, I really should have made a bucket of water, I've realized, but oh well. It is a spider spawner. Ooh, and well, there you go. There's a bucket, two sets of cat. This is really close to our base. That could come in useful. Oh my gosh, creepers hide so well in dripstone caves. Ah, look, monsters just come out of nowhere. What the heck? Unfortunately, this cave doesn't go any deeper than this. There's lots of good resources in it, so I'll come back later. But I think I might just start digging down. As if I can stumble into a cave, tough is quite easy to find. All right. I just saw a creeper's foot, but there's a cave. I'm out. Mobs everywhere. Yes. All right. I can see some tough. However, I've run out of torches, so we're going to have to go back. Ugh. I'm going through a ridiculous amount of effort here for what is essentially two stacks of tough blocks. There's a lot of mobs down there, so I'm just going to cower up here and mine away at my tough. I guess you could say this is tough love. <laughs> Sometimes I think we don't have fun here. That'll be enough for now, and I can hear a lot of mobs, so I'm going to leave as I am scared. All right, now we've got our tough. Let's lay this down. And for this series, I'm going to go a bit out of my comfort zone, like I like to do, and do a circle house, which I normally don't build. So here is the outline of the base I've designed. It's not huge. It's not actually this big. You will see why later what I mean. But this is the outline of the main section. So now we can work around that and start getting some things we are in desperate need of, such as cows. So I grew some wheat using some bone mill. I then made myself a little pen for the cows to go in using some spruce and cobblestone. I then went looking for some cows, which took quite a while as they were far away, and then spent seven minutes bringing them back, as you can see from the timer in the bottom right-hand corner. Oh, and I also picked up a sheep. I then put the cows and the sheep in the cow pen, and then got adding in some farmland, where I used this spruce wood to make some tiered sort of layers of this farm. But after using all this spruce, I decided something. I decided I don't like it all being spruce. So I'm going to go get some different types of wood to mix it up slightly. I'm going to change out this one here in particular for oak. There you go. That looks a bit better. It sort of mixes it up slightly. I do need more oak wood though. I just went and collected all the oak I need, but I thought dripstone could look quite good. So I've decided to scrap all that and get dripstone instead. Let's see if this looks any good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'll take that. I can always add some more farms on a bit later, but for now, that's good. Some of our wheat is starting to grow, meaning we can start breeding up these cows. Give me that achievement, thank you. I can plant some potatoes, and I'll probably save this one for carrots, as I want to extend the wheat one up here. But there you go, we're making some progress as we're approaching the three hour mark. Still wearing full iron though. I'm gonna go punch some grass to get some seeds for a bit. All right, there we go, a few more seeds planted. And we're around 3% of the way through the series. And so far, what do we have to our name? Uh, some farms and some cows. Let's hope the next 97% goes a bit better. Now I need cows so I can get leather, so I can get books, so I can get bookshelves for an enchantment table, so I can get enchants. <gasps> However, I also need a diamond, which means we're going mining. Why did I throw that away? Let's get some supplies. And let's go to the mines. Diamond mine used to be not so scary. You just strip mine. These days, I'm terrified. We're back in the dripstone cave. So this time we're heading down deeper, where there's lots of creeper. Where, 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 where's one exploding? Oh my gosh, why did that explode? That confused the life out of me. <gasps> yes, that's what I like to see. Is it only one? <gasps> no, we got two. Tempted to go in a bit deeper, but the problem is there's just so many like places creepers can come from in here. Nothing about this looks friendly. I hate it. Oh, we need the diamond pickaxe. I've only got three obsidian. That is, that is saddening. Bumped into a bit of a lush cave. It's very small though. I seem to have misplaced my bed and now there's a lot of mobs around. Where is it? Did I put it in a chest? Ugh. Beautiful. I've realized my axe, well, it's just broken. So I should probably get out of here as I've not really got a way to defend myself. All right, so we don't have enough diamonds to make a pickaxe and an enchanting table. 
So, we're gonna go on a little adventure to the ocean, see if we can find some ruined portals and some obsidian in the chests. So off I set to the ocean, and here's a nice little panning shot for you for absolutely no reason. But I made my way to an ocean, luckily I found one, and we got searching these chests, and we got nothing in the first one of any use whatsoever. I found a buried treasure map as well, but then in this ruined portal I got my obsidian and also a fortune-free gold pickaxe. That is very good just to take for finding diamonds. All right, let's do this buried treasure map. Please have some diamonds for me. Ugh. Ooh, that could have diamonds. Ooh, saddle, nice. And a smoker. Could have made one of those ages ago, but decided not to. Man, isn't the 1.8 world generation just so beautiful? Look at this. Ooh. I've decided to get a horse to make moving around a little bit easier. This is why I hate horses. They hate me, so I hate them back. Oh my gosh, you stupid animal. Yes. Okay, let's go. The one good thing about riding horses makes it very easy to chase down other horses. And there's some carrots for our farm back home. Lovely. I've decided to call my horse Hawkeye. Ride like the air, Hawkeye. That's what the saying is, right? Ooh, this is awkward. I need to go over there. You were useful. Maybe I'll see you again in the future. Maybe not. See you later, nerd. Have fun in that cave. Here are his coordinates just in case. Ooh, hey. There we go. Now, we have to wait for these cows to grow up. So, let's work on our house while we do. A nice, safe activity. We're gonna need a decent amount of copper. So, let's go get some copper. Copper is so ridiculously easy to get these days. I remember when it first released, it was horrible. But look, I've, all, I've already got nine stacks which makes a full stack of copper blocks. And this is without fortune. Wait, so how much does one give you without fortune? Gave me four, and with fortune. Oh, gold that can't break it. Zero, sick. Wait, does that, that probably can't get diamonds, can it? Sick, this is just, is it, is it just for coal? Is that all I can get with it? Can I even get iron? Oh my gosh, this is useless. There we go, coal is fine. I got so excited about this earlier and it is a pile of trash. Let's put all this copper on to smelt and then we can get oxidizing it. This could bring us to 30, ooh, nice, 30 enchantment points already. 31 as we're approaching the five hour mark. Look at all this copper, baby. I have spread it out absolutely appallingly as you can see, but some of it is starting to oxidize. There's probably a better way of doing this than what I've done, but it seems to work. We do need a bit more oak wood though, so we're gonna head out, and then we should probably be ready to start building this house. My ugly method is working. Look at all this oxidized copper. Gimme, gimme. All right, hopefully all this will be oxidized by the time I get to build the roof, but I think it's time we actually got started on our house as we are five hours in. Um, so yeah, our first big time lapse of the series. So we're starting this house at roughly five hours and 10 minutes. Let's see how long it takes to finish. So as I said earlier, we're gonna be building in a sort of circle style for this base, but you can see where the tuff is. There's actually a little sort of garden area in between that and the house. And we've also got a chimney on the left-hand side, which is square because it's only three blocks wide. It's impossible to make a circle. But we've got this nice copper roof here. And as you can see, we ran out of the oxidized copper and had to use the one just underneath, but it still looks pretty good and that will oxidize in the future. Oh. And I also got working on the interior. And I've not finished the interior yet, but as you can see, it took us just over an hour to build this thing. If I head across the river, because it's quite hard to see this house from close up, very happy with it, very happy indeed. During all this, all of our crops have been growing nicely, and our cows have been multiplying, meaning soon we can begin the slaughter. But first, I need to finish off the interior of our house as it's still not complete yet, as you can quite clearly see. Ah, it's starting to look a bit better. We've got all our chests we need in here. I'm just working on a rug at the moment. Not sure what to do with this room though. Oh, I missed one singular block. There we go. I just wanna go grab some flowers to just decorate this a bit nicer. But before that, let's do some slaughtering. All right, I definitely don't have enough cows. I guess in the meantime, we could do some more decorating and also figure out where we're gonna put this enchantment table. I'm tempted to sort of like make this into a pond and then have it beneath the waterfall. That could be quite cool. Let's have a think. I've added some flowers around as you can see out here, plus some rugs. 
And a few bushes around as well, just to bring it to life a little bit more. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. All right. Let's go caving. It's time to get serious. And I need those diamonds. I'm not coming back until I have at least... 10. I've said it now. It's got to happen. Stressed. So many skeletons. Need to hide. Oh my gosh. Let's, uh, let's just go down here. Ah, good, good. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. All right, our first one diamond. Oh, no, there's two. Out. Oh, three. Where did that stupid skeleton man? Ooh, and there's some more right here. Please be more than one. You suck, diamonds. I hate you. I hate you, 1.18 caves. Oh my gosh, low HP. Yikes. That shovel zombie just whacked the heck out of me. Ooh, can fix my shovel though. All worries are over. Got so much gold armor. Golden apple, please. Thank you. All you have to do is ask. And this one. Ah! Oh my gosh, that scared the life out of me. Power two, that's not what I was going to ask for, but I'll take it. This is terrifying. <gasps> Worth doing that. Gimme, gimme. Please be more than one. No! Yes. Okay, I would like diamonds, please. <sighs> Let down and a stupid golden apple. Just realized how low my shield is. In fact, let's make another because I've got some iron on me. One, two. Oh my gosh, I've hit the jackpot and I'm going to die. Oh my gosh. I found in... Oh my gosh. I found like seven diamonds here. What? Wow. Thank you kindly. Hello. Come on. Are oh, you? Oh my gosh. I'm getting so lucky all of a sudden. Oh, teasing me again. You're teasing me, you naughty naughty. Hello. Name tag. Yes. Got more excited about that name tag than diamonds for some reason. Is that a... What? Wait, is this a zombie spawner? Ooh, a new music disc. All right. One more diamond there. I think that's it. Should probably start heading home. We got 21. We've got two back at home, so that's 23. We can get some decent armor and tools with that. I am very lost right now, though, so let's just see if we can make our way home. So I'm currently digging my way up because, well, I got lost. I think my house is just over there somewhere. But look, a dog, and I have bones. Now you are my friend. Now, there we go, now you are my friend. Let's go home. I would name him, but I don't have enough iron for an anvil right now. I'm gonna get working on my enchanting area, which is gonna be underneath this waterfall here. I'm gonna have to change the waterfall around a bit, but that's where it's gonna be. And this is pretty silly, but I'm gonna do it anyway. This shield is about to break, and that's Lizzie, and we can't let her break. Oh, no, no. We're going to store her in our memory forever. She's going to go on the wall here. She protected us well. I'll put her that way. No, I won't. That looks weird. Why is it off center? All right, I'm going to do it that way. It's still up. That? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll remember you, Lizzie. And I think we're just going to skip to me building this enchanting cave. You don't need to see me gathering more materials. So let's cut to the time lapse. And seeing as there's loads of dripstone caves around, I thought I'd make my own dripstone cave, except I've added on some leaves and stuff to make it look all nice. And then I got placing the water at the top as well. And I think it looks enchanting. I've also managed to trap a wandering trader who actually sells red sand, which is normally quite useful, and a jungle sapling. But you know what? It's got to be done. I don't even care. I still need to fix the top up there, so I'll do that in a second. But first, let's fix this down here as this is looking ugly. I've made 17 bookshelves and I don't know why, but I've done it. Let's get my enchanting table. This is why you make extra. Oopsie. Level 30. All right. Fortune free. Oh. All right, let's make some diamond stuff. So we're going to start with the legs and the chest piece. That leaves us with eight. And I can make a pickaxe. Now we have five. I'm going to go for an axe and a shovel. I think... That's probably best for now. And let's see what we get enchantments wise. Protection four, I'll take it. Fire protection four. Fortune, oh, almost. Well, not really, but there we go. That'll do us for now. I've done a bit of like terraforming, added in a little pond here. Also linked this up to our house with this path here. I do still need to fix the top though, as it's, 
it's looking quite ugly at the moment, really. Yeah, this is ugly. Wait. What on earth? Is that over there? So, I have something to admit. I may have lied. This isn't single player. Green started a hardcore series on the old Last Life server, so I've decided this is my series as well now, so let's go mess with him. And this is Green's area. Oh my gosh. Trident man. Get away from me, Trident man. What the heck? He's just shooting at me. Look at all this free wheat. Thanks, Green. Could use this to feed my cows. Oh, I just replanted it. Now, nah, let's just leave it. Oh, oh, accident. Oh no, another accident. Um, and I think rather than take all the wheat, it'll just be quite annoying if it's just random parts and then I've just stomped on some of the ground like this. And I'll leave a little sign here so he knows who stole from him. Goodbye, I'll just head out. And look, home sweet home, all my wheat fields are all nice and not trodden on. Aren't I lucky? Now we're approaching the nine hour mark, as you can see in the bottom right. And for the final hour, I probably should organize my chests and bring things in from over there to in here. But instead, I kind of want to build a tree. Not a huge tree. And I might build more than one. I'm going to put that tree here to block my cave up there as it's ugly. I really should organize my chest, though. Maybe I will if I get time. But I like building trees, so I'm going to do it. All right, so here you can see a couple of trees. There's only two at the moment. There's, as you can see, we're approaching the 10-hour mark. And I've also been busy sorting out these chests here, which is taking a long time, but it's starting to look proper in here. Here we go, double digits, baby. Nice. Now with our sorting system done at the end of our first episode, I think it's time we go and check on Grian again, see what he's been up to. Oh, look, there he is. He's got a never portal and enchantments. Wait, is that Scar with some TNT? Look, there he is. Why can I not hit him? Oops. This is not the next season of Last Life. What are you doing? Run, run. If I log out, it'll be like nothing's happened. So there you have it, guys. The end of episode one. I hope you're looking forward to this mini-series with Green and Scar. If you've got any ideas how I can mess with them, let me know in the comments. Until next time, goodbye.